What's up guys? Fluky here, friendly neighborhood GFX, and today I'm coming at you with a couple of tutorials, looks like. Uh, I decided to like mark my comeback by doing more than one. And today it's a little bit different. It is a what's it called? Uh tablet tutorial. And I found when I got my tablet that there were several things that I just couldn't find out. And I just literally found them out by messing around. And the first one, of course, is when I do this line. Right, we're seeing a lot of jaggedness in this line. We're seeing not a lot of pressure sensitivity, and that is the main thing you want when you get your tablet. It's not so you can just do the same thing you could do with the mouse. So, obviously, the first thing I want to do is do the pressure sensitivity. To do that, you click this button here. It's literally the most simple thing ever, and it really pissed me off when I found that out, because it literally took two seconds. So that's how you do that. That helps a lot with doing some nice little squiggly bits and uh, next off we're going to show you how to not make it so there's all these bumpy bits and this is to do with the spacing of the brush as you can see it's automatically set on I think it was 25% but if you put that right down there's going to be literally no spaces between your lines so you have the, literally the smoothest line you can get so that is basically what I want to do there's several things you can mess around with what I would consider doing is messing around with the um, with the brushes that actually come with Photoshop because um, these are very good as they've literally been made to be like real life brushes. And the whole point in um, doing this is so that you can test that sort of stuff out. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure also, if you click this button here, I'll put it back on to normal one. This one uh, does it so the harder you push, the, uh, the more opaque it is, is that the right word? Uh, so the opacity is higher the harder you push. So I push really hard now and really soft now. And this is really good for people who are doing stuff like speed paintings. So, oh, speed paintings. People are doing digital paintings. And they want you to use brushes like this to like fill stuff in. So if you want to do a little bit and then you can do a little bit harder. If you want a bit more shading and stuff like that. So yeah, this has been a quick tutorial, guys. I understand this wasn't like the longest thing ever, but it's stuff that people need to know. If you're going to get a graphics tablet, this is the sort of stuff that is just number one. And, you know, ever know, if you come back in the future after you've got a tablet, you could come back to the video and remember, look at that video that was about using your tablet. So, yeah, uh, this has been a quick one. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. See ya.